Hey guys, here we are at Western Iowa Tech, and today we're going to be pressing apart a two-stroke crankshaft, and we got a couple of cool tools from K&L that we're going to highlight. One, uh, as we go back together with the crankshaft, holds the webs at a certain depth, and then the second one is a crankshaft jig we're kind of excited about that might uh, cut the time in, well, make a fraction of the, of the time that it takes to rebuild the crankshaft. So uh, today helping me is Omar and Lionel. Shout out. Hey. All right, Lionel's got a uh, two-stroke crankshaft. It's out of an old uh, KTM 85. Uh, rod is totally gone on it. Now, with this uh, with this press plate, you only have to press one half web at a time instead of the full pr uh, pressing a pin out of both webs at the same time. So notice how he slides it onto the tool. It cradles the rod, so that rod pin ends up in that uh, U shape, and he's got an old wrist pin that he's going to use as a, a press piece against it. Guys, remember safety. Always have your safety glasses down when you're working around a press. So you notice the crank pin is just smoked. If we would have pressed that pin through the crank webs, that damaged, scored crank pin would have ended up damaging one of the crank webs. Nice catch. Flip it to the inside of the crankshaft. So you can notice a lot of heat got built up in there. We'll uh, closely inspect that crank web, make sure that that machine surface is going to be uh, doable for the thrust washers. Uh, Lionel showing you thrust washers there. Um, they were extremely worn as well. So. Um, Reassemble with the new parts. I'm going to show you that uh, that new jig that we've got though. So Okay, so the pin has been pressed into one crank web and uh, Guys that I don't want to hide anything from you. That is the old rod and the old pin. We're putting it back together This is practice for us. So um, it's going to slide the two halves of the jig together And then line up the holes for each crank web for that bottom end big the, the big pin And then that jig assembly gets uh, put vertical and into the press. So we'll go do that. Okay, we're the uh, noteworthy here is that see the press here. The crank pin goes directly below, so that as the press um, puts the force onto the jig, that it's pressing directly above the crank pin.
nine nine. Five oh four. Fifty five was uh all right. Yep. Okay, the next step that the guys are going to do is make sure that the crank webs are the same distance apart. So what we found is that uh, the jig gets it awfully close, but it's still off a little bit. So um, there's a couple of hundredths of a, or a couple of tenths of a millimeter, a tenth of a millimeter difference between the pin side and, and uh, opposite pin side of the crank webs. So they'll get that set and uh, then we'll be able to true the crank. So the jig's pretty effective. After setting the proper uh, crank web width it's within uh, a little less than a thousandth of an inch. And that was a pretty fast uh, crank rebuild. To, 